Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll take a look at the PDB refresh functionality introduced in Oracle 12.2. This allows you to keep an up-to-date read-only copy of a pluggable database, which in turn can be used as a source for other clone operations. We connect to the root container of the CDB1 instance and display the PDBs. We can see we only have a single user-defined pluggable database called PDB1. We connect to the root container of the CDB3 instance and display the current pluggable databases. Notice the PDB5 pluggable database is in read-write mode. We create a link user in the root container and grant it the create session and create pluggable database privileges. We connect back to the root container of the CDB1 instance and create a database link to the CDB3 instance. We create a new pluggable database called PDB5RO as a clone of the remote PDB5 pluggable database. This looks very similar to a hot clone operation, but notice the refresh mode manual clause. This means the pluggable database is refreshable as long as we never open it in read-write mode. We open the new pluggable database in read-only mode to complete the operation and we can see it in the PDB list. We want to test the refresh functionality so we connect back to the source PDB and make a change. To keep things simple we'll just add a table space inside the pluggable database. So we switch to the PDB5 container and create a table space called testTS. We connect to the root container of the CDB1 instance, switch to the read-only PDB and check the current list of table spaces. We can see the test TS table space isn't in the list. To perform a refresh, we close the pluggable database, issue the alter pluggable database refresh command and then open the pluggable database in read-only mode. If we check the current list of table spaces, we can see the test TS table space is now present. In addition to the manual refresh mode, we can define automatic refreshes. In this example, we alter the refresh mode of the PDB so it refreshes every two hours. You can alter the refresh mode of a refreshable PDB, but you can't turn a non-refreshable PDB into a refreshable PDB. We can see the refresh mode information in the DBA PDB's view. The automatic refresh will only take place if the PDB is closed, so depending on your requirements you may prefer to schedule a job to close, refresh and open the PDB instead of using the automatic refresh mode. Oracle 18C introduced the refreshable PDB switchover functionality, which is built on top of PDB refresh. We'll look at that in a separate video. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.